This afternoon, I'm laying out my plan to ensure that the United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world, and we'll get it done. If crypto is going to define the future, I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon, I want America to be the nation that leads the way. And that's what's going to happen. Next, I will immediately order the Treasury Department and other federal agencies to cease and desist all steps necessary because You know, there's a thing going on in your industry. They want to move the creation of a central bank digital currency. It's over. Forget it. CBDC. There will never be a CBDC while I'm president of the United States. But I'm thrilled to be here in Nashville to become the first American president ever to address a Bitcoin event anywhere in the world. world. Those who say that Bitcoin is a threat to the dollar have the story exactly backwards. I believe it is exactly backwards. Bitcoin is not threatening the dollar. The behavior of the current U.S. government is really threatening the dollar. The danger to our financial future does not come from crypto. It comes from Washington, D.C. It comes from trillions of dollars in waste, rampant inflation, and open borders while giving welfare and free health care to all of the illegal aliens that are pouring into our country by the millions and millions and millions. It comes from printing hundreds of billions of dollars to fund endless wars overseas while our cities are like combat zones here at home. I want the United States to be first in technology, first in science, first in manufacturing, first in artificial intelligence, and first in space. You know, at MIT, my uncle was a professor there, Dr. John Trump. He would have fit in with this room very nicely, actually. That's why I mention it. And I believe he was the longest serving professor in the history of MIT. We have a very intelligent family, actually. He graduated tremendously. I think he has three different degrees, but they said, would you like to stay on, John, and be a professor? Well, I've got a lot of offers, I assume he said, but I've got a lot of offers. Well, we'd like, he was there for, I believe, 41 years. When I was in the White House, the head of MIT came to see me, and they presented me with a book on my uncle. He was a legendary guy in the academic world and in the world of MIT. So, I understand a lot about what you're doing, and I have great respect for highly intelligent people. And you are highly intelligent. America's destiny is to lead our rivals in everything and to surrender our industries to no one, to no one. You know, I stand before you today filled with respect and admiration for what the Bitcoin community has achieved. It's incredible, actually. I sort of say to my sons, it's like incredible because they know so much about it. It's so They're so aware of it, much more so than people that are a little bit older. But I say this is the steel industry of 100 years ago. It really is. I think you're just in your infancy. I can see it happening. In just 15 years, Bitcoin has gone from merely an idea posted anonymously on an Internet message board to being the ninth most valuable asset anywhere in the world. Can you believe that? Is that right? That's a big deal. Think of that. It's already bigger than ExxonMobil. Soon it will be surpassing the entire market cap of silver. It's not bad. How about gold? How about gold? Let's go gold. And one day it probably will overtake gold, but based on the way it's going now, it could very well be a possibility. There's never been anything like it. And I don't think you've ever seen anything like it.